Hello everyone, this is Paul Maciel from Mobidar.com and today I wanted to give a brief introduction of CSS. First off, what is CSS? Well, CSS is an abbreviation for Cascading Style Sheets. These styles define how HTML is displayed. CSS controls the layout and the appearance of all pages in a website. And a CSS file is usually saved in an external file with the extension of .css, as in style.css. Within WordPress, styles can be accessed and altered internally within a dashboard editor. The main elements of CSS or rules are made of selectors and declarations. A selector can be defined as an HTML element you want to style and each selector is broken down into declarations. Let's list off some examples of HTML selectors. A selector could be h1, h2, h3, h4, and p. h stands for heading. This is heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, and paragraph for p. Now let's look at some uh, examples of CSS declarations. As you can see on my screen, I have already listed off a couple CSS declarations. This is an average CSS code. So if, if you want to look at the first CSS code, it is color blue and then font size 12px. Now within this, the two declarations are color blue and font size. Now within each selector is a property and a value. The property for the first selector is color. This is the property you want to affect. Now the value of that is blue. The value defines exactly what, what the property will be. So on the second declaration on my screen, the property is font size and the value is 12px. All CSS codes have to end in a semicolon. As you can see, these selectors end in a semicolon. This tells the CSS code that it ends. Each selector is ending. So it says color code blue. So then we're going to say that's the end of that code. So we add a semicolon and font size 12. So we're going to add a semicolon and that's how you know that selector ends. Now you want to make sure that each each group of declarations are surrounded in curly brackets just as as you can see here on my screen CSS can be made easier to read by moving each declaration to its own line using the tab button to push each declarations apart from the brackets let me show you what I mean let me give you a quick example okay here I open my uh, word editor so let's say I'm gonna write a CSS Let's say I'm going to write a CSS code right now. So I want to do font dash size, oops, font size, semicolon at the end, 12px. Okay. Now, as you can see, this looks on, it looks nice, you know, but we actually want to break this up so it's easier to read. Imagine if we had like 12 of these in a row, it'd be really hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter right there, and then I'm going to press enter for the end bracket. Now what we want to do is we want to tab the beginning of the selector so it sticks out from the bracket. So I just press the tab button and voila. Now if you want to know more about CSS, then go ahead and go to my post at mobidar.com. And this post is called Introduction to CSS in WordPress.